anything like me, you may have looked at old footage of yourself and been a little embarrassed because you were talking with your hands too much. Uh, but there is actually a scientific basis on this, and being that it is communication and it is science, I'm going to have Christina Ochoa take it away. <laughs> well, this is interesting. This just came out, and it's a study <laughs> that analyzes the most popular TED Talks. Mm -hmm. And what it analyzes is the hand movements and body gestures that the speakers have and how compelling the audience seems to find them. Mm -hmm. And so I know we've had this discussion before. I use my hands a lot when I speak, partially because of the language barrier. Mm -hmm. It helps me relate the message. Right. But that's one of the studies, one of the things that the studies found is that popular speakers have 455 hand gestures on average per talk, which is almost twice as much as the unpopular kids oh, in let's TED say speakers have. Less compelling. Less compelling. Less in engaging. Engaged, sure. Sure. The ones that weren't viewed or responded to as well as the others. Exactly. On the curve. <laughs> and one of the things that it was talking about is also how it increases the information in the message, how much gets across, by mm -hmm. uh, over 60%. So you're getting more information when I'm using my hands than when I'm not. Is it because of specific like emphasis? Maybe one particular point to you is more interesting? I, I think that has something to do with it. There's a region in the brain called the Broca region or Broca region. I don't know how you pronounce it in English, but it's a uh, region. Christina's first language is Spanish, by the way, <laughs> exactly. if things seem mispronounced. She's so, thinking in Spanish, which is more than I'm doing. Go, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> so this region is responsible for analyzing not only the speech patterns, but again, the hand gestures that come along with mm -hmm. it. And some of the studies uh, that have been done on this region also talk about how kids that use hand gestures when they're learning, when they're small, when they're four or five, six years old, mm -hmm. become more affluent, become more eloquent, become, uh, they have a larger vocabulary, become better storytellers oh, in right, the future right. with this. Um, let's see, the study was six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, and eight-year-olds exactly. telling the story of a cartoon and being able to uh, more thoroughly express themselves, but there was a, a link between using hand gestures mm -hmm. and that? Yes, and then one of the things, if you haven't yet, there's a website called Science of People that I'm a very big fan of. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a behavioral scientist called uh, Vanessa Van Edwards. And she has a whole website and lectures dedicated to this topic. Interesting. And there are things that are very interesting that she talks about, which is, for example, one of them is you have to stay in the box. So if we create an imaginary box between the top of your chest and your waist, and maybe about a couple, you know, 10 centimeters outside to each side. If you talk within that box, people will understand you better. No. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you start flailing your arms and I start doing this, I'm gonna be alienating people because I'm going to be too dramatic and too, I'm just during too much. You're invading my personal bubble. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it also helps the speaker themselves understand the concept as well, right? Mm -hmm. It does. It helps you break down things, almost bullet point them in your head. So it helps with organizational skills when you have a speech, thinking about uh, pointing out or enumerating the points that you're going to talk it, about. It talks about gesturing towards the public, towards yourself. There's a lot of politicians that use these kind of studies in their speeches. Yeah, it is. A lot of this is, well, that's not necessarily what we're talking about. It's how others perceive you. But there exactly. is a lot of how people perceive you, which is, I'm trying not to, like, be ironic too much, but it was um, said by the specific doctor who was talking about this that you'd seem more warm and mm -hmm. outgoing if you're using your hands and more cold and standoffish if you aren't. Mm -hmm. So perhaps you do this when you're trying to um, engender yourself. Uh, I, I, I feel like I've certainly done this because I, well, I was recently on a different show that uh, in the past maybe I wasn't so good at. So when I, when I was on it recently, I was just like, hey, and this is how this works and that and this. And I, I think underneath, when I was reading this, I, I felt that I was doing that. Oh, really? It, sure. uh, the paper actually goes in to talk about some of the most standoffish, I'm going to use that, obviously they don't use that word, but I'm going to use that word because I don't remember what term they used. Uh, some of the most standoffish hand gestures, and one of them is doing this, which you if you watch like Shark Mr. Tank, Burns. If you watch Shark Tank, Mr. <laughs> Wonderful does the same thing, oh, and Burns does the, the same the thing. Evil, the rich the guy. evil kind of yes. <laughs> this is one of the most standoffish hand gestures. Exa so if you're out excellent. there, excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, and it talks about some of the warmest ones when you're talking about me, you, when you point at somebody. Mm -hmm. It's it's an interesting again. The the study right now has no practical purpose other than informing us 
what of we're what we're doing, how we're perceiving, how we're understanding, how others are understanding us, which exactly. I think is really important. It is. And then we also have uh, the idea spoken by the doctor, which was that your emotions come through wor first. Mm -hmm. I was about to say worst. And then your body responds to that more quickly. See what I'm doing? Because <laughs> I have a motions. Uh, so it's, it's an interesting thing to think about, why we do certain things and what they inspire in others and ourselves. Uh, audience, do you speak with your hands? Let us know below in the comments. You can use hand emojis and like and subscribe for more.